August 7, 2017. It was approximately 5.30 p.m. when my son Jack asked if I could hook up my old DVD player to the living room TV. I had once had the DVD player hooked up to the TV, but one day about a month ago, my son got a TV of his own installed in his room, so I unhooked the old DVD player from the living room TV and replaced it with our brand new PS4. But his TV mysteriously fizzled out, why you shouldn't buy a TV on Craigslist for $26, and so he asked me to watch Spongebob on the living room TV. I agreed, and after I sent the other television to the scrap heap, I hooked the DVD player up to the main TV and inserted Spongebob Season 7, Disc 1. My son wanted to watch his favorite episode The Curse of Bikini Bottom. But when the disc had finished loading, something strange happened. A Nickelodeon logo appeared, except it was all grainy and the text was jet black. The background was a dull blood red. Then near the very end of the logo, the background became pitch black, and the only clue to the logo's existence was a blood red highlight. I explained to my son that it was probably just the DVD being misread, but I wasn't completely sure. Then the normal FBI warning screen came up, but the letters were black and the background was dark red. There was no grain, however. After that, the DVD menu appeared like normal. I breathed a huge sigh of relief, thinking everything would go normal from now on. Sadly, with all the creepy pastas I had read, I had not learned my lesson. Before I could start eating my pre-dinner snack, Jack told me to see something odd. I ran into the room, fearing the worst. Sure enough, the scene selection had changed. The thumbnail for the very last episode, Squidward in Clarinet Land, was not as it should be. Instead of Spongebob's hand holding a clarinet, it was a blood-red Squidward with a look on his face that appeared either angry or scared. I asked my son if I could see the episode if anything had changed. Luckily for me, my worst fears weren't realized. Sadly, the episode was not what I was hoping for. The title card was extremely malformed. The normal words and the mirrored words were both stretched and overlapped each other. So instead of saying Squidward in Clarinet Land, it supposedly said, Squiggux, Eclarel, which in case you were wondering, was where I got the title for this pasta. The opening credits were not malformed as the title card, but instead the words were completely white, making them hard to make out, and the rocks in the background were replaced with pits of green fire. Unfortunately, I could not get a screenshot of it in time, because there was only one line of text that lasted one second, at most. The text was messed up, so I could not quite make out what it said, but there were two words and the first one looked like, the asterisk double exclamation point you backslash. This made me think up all to it, but I wasn't completely sure. The episode started out mostly normal, except the motion was all blurry. It starts out with Squidward in a good mood as he rides his bike to the Krusty Krab. The fish in the boat ahead of him speeds off, causing pebbles to fly into his face. Squidward just ignores the pebbles and continues to ride to the Krusty Krab happily. When he gets to the Krusty Krab and puts on his hat, Mr. Krabs rushes up to him and remarks on how happy he is. He explains his clarinet recital later and that nothing can dampen his mood. He even holds up his clarinet case for Krabs to see. He walks to his post and soon a fish with bad breath walks up to him. There is drool on the fish's chin as he asks for a Krabby Patty. The fumes wax Squidward in a comic manner only it harasses him more than in the normal episode. Finally, it delivers the final blow and vanishes. Squidward's smile is now a little less meaningful, but he still looks as if in a good mood. He tells Spongebob to cook up a Krabby Patty and then turns back to the customer. The customer thanks him and leaves. Squidward says, Ah, nothing can ruin my happy mood today. He holds his clarinet case, but soon, the next customer's baby squirts milk all over the case. The customer says, Oh, terribly sorry, sir. Squidward, however, is not angry. He explains that there is not a drop of anything on his clarinet, and makes the mistake of opening the case for the customer to see. The baby leans over the clarinet, and a drop of drool falls on the clarinet. Squidward's smile instantly vanishes, and is replaced with a frown. He has an angry look, and the screen turns blood red. I think, oh, this must be where things get bad. Sure enough, the screen zooms in quickly to Squidward's face as he shouts. I can't take it anymore!
Once the colors got back to normal, he walks over to Mr. Krabs and said all the stuff that happened in the episode, yada yada yada, up to the point where Mr. Krabs gets Squidward a locker. There is an extremely gruesome shot of a bloated rotting corpse in the locker. I would have gotten a snapshot, except for the following reasons. 1. It was enough to make someone puke. 2. I was too busy making sure my son didn't watch. When the corpse finally got dumped out behind the locker, Squidward remarked on how filthy the locker was. Immediately, SpongeBob began cleaning. However, everything that wasn't yellowish enough was black and white. In other words, the only things in color were SpongeBob and the floor. Then something both relieving and awful happened. The DVD player stopped, and sets up an error screen. I thought my DVD player had burned out, but luckily, it was only turned off. When I turned the DVD player back on, everything was as it should be. So I let my son watch The Curse of Bikini Bottom and left. December 6, 2017. Sorry that I haven't edited this article for quite a while. Let's just say I've been disconnected. Anyways, I regret to inform you that I have no more screenshots to show. But I do have a little more story to tell. Just last week, I was watching a YouTube poop called Sodystopia, don't ask, when halfway through part 2, the screen froze up, except the cursor. I frantically waved the cursor around the screen to see if anything happened. Nothing. I used Alt plus Control plus Delete. Still nothing. But as my finger hit the space bar, suddenly the screen whirled around in a flash of color and a deep voice screaming. <laughs> Which was obviously the name of my creepypasta, but backwards. The screen stopped whirling and I saw the same image of Spongebob cleaning from before, only this time, he wasn't squirming out water. This time, the yellow and the red showed up, revealing the liquid to be blood. Also, the sequence went on in a continuous loop. The seventh time the loop played over, I heard something that sounded like Spongebob's laugh from a distance. Then the twelfth time the loop went over, there was a laughing that sounded closer, only this time it was a man's deep voice. The nineteenth time, the loop finally ended, and when it did, a hideous face showed up on the screen for a split second. The horror of the face was too much to describe. And no, I am not just exaggerating. Then the episode cut, without transitioning, to Squidward happily giving a customer change. A drilling noise comes from the kitchen, causing Squidward to angrily mumble to himself. That sponge better not be messing with my Clarero. I noticed that he had uttered the part of the pasta's name. He threw the change to the ground and went in the kitchen, and people noticed. Suddenly, everyone dove for the loose change, and this is where something disturbing happened. Krabs charged at the people like an angry ape protecting his territory, well, this was an angry ape protecting his money. But one fish didn't leave. Suddenly, the background's colors gets inverted, and it almost seemed like the background was melting. Krabs' eyes became as black as coal, and he lunged for the fish. Suddenly, everything in the world was warped, except Mr. Krabs and his victim. Then he grabbed the fish's throat and started torturing him. He slammed the fish's head on the floor in a disgustingly realistic and gruesome way. Soon blood squirted from his head like a volcano or a geyser, and now the fish was screaming and moaning for mercy. But Mr. Krabs, instead of showing mercy, violently jerked the fish off to his face and whispered in a deep, twisted voice. You have messed with the wrong crab. Now you deal with me. I turned around and threw up in a garbage bin. Suddenly, my computer went dead. I tried to turn it on, but it wouldn't work. I took out the hard drive. It had been snapped in half and horribly burned. It looked more like two pieces of charcoal now. So two days ago, I got a new hard drive for my computer, and mostly forgot that day until a week ago. And one more thing. I'm almost done making a video based on the cursed Nickelodeon logo, and I promise the next time I edit, it will be up here. That's all for now.